Well, hello there. How are we doing today? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I know I have. So this is Nate. Today we are at Lichty Homes. Going to take a look at this really nice, large, three-bedroom, two-bath home with an office. I suppose you could probably use the office as a den if you wanted to. It's set up to be an office. It's what I would use it as. So as you can see, it's a really big home. Now they are pretty close together. I'm not going to be able to get around the back side there. So I'm not sure if I mentioned. We are at Lichty Homes in Bismarck, North Dakota. This is a Bonavilla home. So this is one of the top end manufacturers. And when we get in, they won't... Uh, you won't be let down, trust me. Somebody had to slam on the brakes. So just kind of get the best I can for the back here. Just kind of wanted to point out that sliding glass door down there. And with that, we'll come back around and head on into the home. So now, some of these homes, as you can see, they've got underpinnings on. Some of them, they don't. These are just show models that you order off of. So when we come in, there's your front door. Really nice foyer. Kind of nice to see. A lot of these homes I've noticed here at Lichty Homes, they've all got a foyer when you come in. Kind of separates it out, gives you that more high-end feeling. As I said, Bonavilla is one of the higher-end homes. So this is going to be your living room. As you can see, this is a large living room. I believe these are nine foot ceilings. They're not flat ceilings, they all taper upwards. Now, mind you, the marriage lines have not been trimmed out in any of these homes, so keep that in mind. Really nice living room, though. Come around here and we'll take a look. Oh, we'll do the office first. I was gonna go right into the right into the dining room, but let's come get this office. I like the fact that they've got it set up as an office. Really kind of gives you more of a feel of how you could set this up and how it would work. Some of the options you can get on this home. Here's some of the others that they've got. So now let's go ahead and head into the dining room. So you've got a large hanging light fixture there. Now I can, I can see that you all are going to notice that that's not level. Obviously when this home is set up, that will be leveled out and hanging properly. But as it's, you can tell, you've got a huge table here. So lots of room in your dining room area here. There's that sliding glass door. And we've got the large island. The 
Wasn't sure if that was real or not. The way they did these, the outside of it, it almost looked real. A lot more storage space down below. Great big drawers for your pots and pans. What's a good spot for them? Right next to the stove where you're going to use them. Right behind the dishwasher and the sink. So after you get done washing them, you just turn around and put them away. These stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Couple of pull outs, you can put all your spices in here. We got one on this side too. Nope, just the regular old cabinet there. And then back in here, we've got our big pantry. And I wasn't sure what was behind door number one here. You usually don't see a door in your pantry. Water heater access. Easy access, easy to get to. Of course, you will have to pack it out a little bit in order to get it out of here, but nice that they gave you good, easy access to your water heater. Let's head back this way, and we'll go check out the... Uh, guest bathroom in the kids rooms and once again I was not let down when it came to the guest bathroom <clears throat> so far every home that I have filmed here at Lichty Homes the guest bathroom has been different than the standard design once again we've got dual sinks in the guest bathroom hello Raiden Great big vanity mirror. Nice light fixtures up above it. Plenty of storage down below. And you've got the one piece shower tub combo. Nice deep tub in here. And then your guest bathroom includes a separate water closet with a pocket door. Like I said, they have yet to be let down in any of these homes as far as doing something out of the norm from your standard modular or manufactured home. It's really nice to see somebody trying to do something different. And in your hallway, if you noticed when we came down, just kind of opens up nice and wide. And your bedrooms are nice big bedrooms. So as you can tell, you've got lots of space in here. Got overhead vents. Big closet space. Not that this doing me much good in, <clears throat> in there, as dark as it is. So that was bedroom number one. Bedroom number two is quite a bit bigger. Even got this little kick out. Just to kind of break up the wall a little bit, give you even more space. So as you can see, this is a really big bedroom. This bedroom is as big as I've seen some master bedrooms, if not bigger than some of the master bedrooms I've filmed in the past. So you got the sliding doors though for your closet. Try to get you a good shot of the closet. Not going to get down there. But once again, great big kids room. So 
So now let's head down and check out your master bedroom. And you won't be disappointed. Once again, you've got that kick out on the window right there. Just adding more, more space in here. And we got to come close this door. We can't leave this door open. So really large master bedroom. Definitely needs a little bit more light in here. So I'd have to put a brighter light than that in here if it was my home. But these are just show models, so they just uh, can use whatever they've got laying around. And I think I was just commenting that every closet I've looked at so far here has had the double racks in them. And then I go and film this one, and, it's, and as nice as the home is, I don't see the double racks. It's the first one I've seen that doesn't have double racks. Of course, all the closets have been a little bit bigger than the other homes. And now your master bathroom. Double sinks, great big vanity. It's about the same size as what the uh, guest bathroom was. So the guest bathroom is almost the same size as your master bathroom. Albeit, guest bathroom doesn't have this great big soaker tub. And that is fairly deep. Of course, it's just the camera never does these tubs justice when you're trying to show how deep they are. A couple of nice floating shelves up above your tub there. We got pocket door going into your toilet area. Even the same design as what the guest bathroom was. So the biggest difference between this one and your kids bathroom, big soaker tub. And then just as large, not larger, tile shower. And the tile goes almost all the way to the ceiling, all the way around. It's a great big tile shower here. I believe this is the 72 inch. Now this almost looks a little small in comparison to the one I just did that was, I believe it was seven and a half foot by <clears throat> a little over four foot wide. Whereas this one is 72 by, I would say four foot. So six foot by four foot. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying the video. Thanks for sticking around. I do appreciate you watching the videos. And if you're liking these videos, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. While you're down there, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. These are really nice homes by Bonavilla. I'm glad I came to film these homes. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.